So brothers, don't say to the sister, why are you jealous? What's your problem? What you think, she should not be jealous? She should be. It's her nature. But she need to control that. Because sisters, think to yourself, did Allah say, did the, did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi say, none of you is truly believers until you love for your brother what you love for yourself? Did he say that? Did he say that? Yes, he said that. So let's switch it. Sisters, none of you truly believe until you love for your sister what you love for yourself. Now let's talk about that part. Let's go back to the issue, you understand me, of the 2.5 up to the 8.5. Let's go back to that. So if all the Muslim women in Sydney, Australia, let's not do a talk about the whole world. If all the Muslim sisters of Sydney, Australia, Allah blessed them to have a husband. How many sisters there will be without husbands? There will be at least, for every one sister that will find a nice husband, there will be at least another six sisters they will not have a husband. So sister, ask yourself, subhanallah, what you think about that Muslim sister? What should she be? She should be a lesbian? She should be by herself? She should not have children? She should not have her desires fulfilled? She should not have a home? Somebody to take care of her? Because you want one husband for you and you don't want nobody else. I want mine for me, that's it. So what do you think the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, if you don't have the ability to give uh, uh, justice to the women, then do what? Marry women of your choice. Did he say? Huh? Ma taba lakum, didn't he? Mathna aw thulatha aw ruba. Did he say one? In that in that ayah? Did he say one? No, he said matna, which means what? Two. Aw thulatha. Three. Aw ruba. Four. He didn't say one in that because he already ordered us to have one. But in regard to the justice, he said, مثنى أو ثلاثة أو الرباع. So the injustice is what? One of the injustices and the imbalance is what is evident in front of you. That if every sister have a husband for herself, this will leave at least six sisters without the possibility of a man. If you want for your sister what you want for yourself, subhanAllah sisters, what you're talking about? Now sisters, look, let me tell you this statistic. Only two out of every ten men is going to take another wife anyway. Anyway. Even though the choice is there, only two out of ten is going to take another wife anyway. Only one out of twenty is going to take a third wife. Maybe one out of thirty. And maybe only one out of two hundred is going to take a fourth wife. How many brothers you know got four wives? That he can buy four refrigerators and play four phone bills and pay young know, somebody four light bills and four phone bills and four rents. And also, he got to deal with four different sisters. SubhanAllah. No, it's very unlikely this will happen. Very unlikely. And how many of you know this got three? Unlikely. But sisters, think. If you are patient, and you tell him, brother, listen, I don't like it. I'll be honest with you. I'm jealous. I don't want you to do that. But this is your responsibility in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah will ask you about your responsibility. If you think you must do it, of course, I don't like it, but I will bear with it, inshallah. Why? Because of my sister. Especially your husband, maybe he will marry some sister. She has children already. What do those children do? But she have children. Who will guide them? Who will take care of them? Your husband, he's working. He has knowledge. He's healthy. And if you are intelligent, really sisters, if you're really intelligent, sometimes you won't want to be bothered with your husband. Sometimes you need help with those children. If you are intelligent and you allow your mind and your practicality to rise above your jealousy, you may see that there's some benefit in social benefit and you're having a co-wife because you can do things together sometimes she can watch your children sometimes you can watch your children sometimes you ain't got to bother cooking cleaning for your husband or nothing you have to be bothered with him sometimes you get tired of him it's good for you 
you have time for yourself. There are some sisters who have a co-wife and it is a good relationship. You should talk to some of those sisters, not to the ones who is greedy and jealous and even they don't appreciate the one husband. They, they, they don't appreciate the fact that they are the only. And I'll give you another statistic, sisters. Do you know most of the marriage counseling, most of the marriage problems is not in the house where there is two wives. Do you know where, where it is? Most of the problems and the marriage counseling comes from where there's only one wife. This is a statistic. So sisters, about the ta'adja to zawjat, you should not, I'm not telling you to be happy. Don't dance and don't expect the sister to dance and to hold a party because you take another wife. Alhamdulillah, brother, mashallah, let's invite everybody. Don't expect that from the sister. But sisters, be patient about this matter and don't speak against the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't speak against the, prop, the wisdom of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't undermine the welfare of the, of, the, of, the, of the community. And don't be selfish and don't be greedy and don't be unwise. Sisters, be careful about this matter. Speak to your husband as strong as you need to speak to him. Beg with him, plead with him. Please don't do it. I don't like it. But if he does, bear with it. Be patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you better. After all, al akhirah khayrun wa abqa, isn't it? The akhirah is better for you than what is present. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.